Hey guys, Core here with Gotta Be Mobile, and today we're going to be showing you how to attack with dragons in Clash of Clans. Now, we know there's a lot of different attack strategies when it comes to Clash. A lot of people like to use different things, different layouts. Of course, you always do a different layout based on who you're attacking, especially in Clan Wars. Uh, so it, it all comes down to kind of what you have to go on and what you have to work with. But we get a lot of questions about how to use dragons and how to two-star bases with dragons, or how to even take out Inferno. As you can see here, I've, you know, a pretty good sized Town Hall 10 layout with two big Infernos. And the problem here is a lot of times people have a hard time two star you know, bases with two Infernos. So I've actually figured out it's really easy now that the latest update added, you know, the level five dragons. So what we want to do here is show you how to do that and how to actually attack successfully with dragons. We're not going to use like a full layout and drop nothing but dragons here because not only is that super expensive, it takes forever, but unless you take out all that air defense or use you know, something. You're just not going to get three stars. But we uh, have a war here that we recently won, and we're going to show you how to funnel the dragons correctly. So what I did is attacked the, the number two and number three. I got two stars on both. I just left number one alone. He had two level three infernos. But uh, we're going to go ahead and show you a couple of replays. And uh, this this is just one of, of many different ways you can use dragons. A lot of people use lightning spells to take out air defense, or you have it, you know, tons of different options. But the key for for dragon attacks is to watch out for the air sweepers and then attack on two corners of a base and what this does is create a funnel effect. Now the point is you don't want the dragons to go anywhere they want. You know, you just drop dragons, they're going to go around a base, they never go where you want them to and it's extremely frustrating. So figure out where the air sweepers are and pick two corners where you're going to attack. It doesn't necessarily have to be a corner. I did the top corner here and you'll see what we're talking about. So. You go ahead and drop a couple of dragons up top. You give them a couple of seconds to fire off a little bit of flames. And this starts the funnel. So I drop the two in the top, give it a second, deploy the rest, and the funnel has already been started. Now those ones in the middle, the other six I drop, and all the balloons will go right up the center. Otherwise, if you don't start that funnel, the dragons will, as you all know, go wherever they want, never where you want them to go, and will just wander endlessly. So. Launch a couple of rage spells, drop a couple of healing spells, and then I have one more rage that we're going to use one last time here in a second, take out that last inferno, and hopefully a little bit of that splash damage takes out that town hall. So as you can see here, we did a pretty good job. Uh, we haven't quite got the town hall yet, but in a second it's going to drop, and the dragons are still going. They still have a decent amount of life left as well, and uh, just let them finish doing their thing, and they'll kind of do a little bit of cleanup and uh, eventually you get that two stars, get that 50%, get that town hall, and you're done. So there it is, quick and easy, two star attack. Now here we're gonna show you one more. Uh, it's the same thing, I'm not gonna use a ton of dragons. Hit the number three, I use eight dragons, the rest balloons, balloons in my clan castle, and again you do that funnel effect. Now watch out for the uh, air sweepers, you drop your two uh, first dragons, you give them a second, deploy the rest, drop that clan castle and go. Now I didn't get the this the attack perfect. Uh, some of them did kind of strain, didn't go exactly where I wanted. But as you guys can see here, you drop those rages again. I, it's a very similar attack to what I did before. And uh, save that healing spell for the middle to kind of hit more of them at once. But a couple of my dragons and balloons kind of wandered down there at the bottom. Didn't quite go where I wanted them to. But still getting a lot of damage here. Use that last rage there in the middle to just kind of help me get a little further along. And the point here is you want to clear a path. So this might not work every time. I mean, you'll definitely cause a lot more damage if you use all dragons, but it all comes down to using the funnel. If you don't start on one corner, they're just going to wander around the edges of the base. But what this also did was clear a clean path for my queen. As you can see here, I dropped her down here in this corner, the same corner I started on where there's nothing else. The queen's artificial intelligence was pretty awful before. But the latest update also made her not shoot endlessly a pointless thing. So she did what she's supposed to do here, which was very appreciative, and started attacking the town hall. As you can see here, I got 30 or so seconds here with my attack. Use that extra power for the king, take out the town hall, get two stars, use the queen, clean up a little bit, and that's it. So there you can see two very easy well, very tough bases that were easily two-starred using dragons with Clash of Clans. What it all comes down to, guys, is you need to start that funnel, drop one on each side, give it a second, and then deploy the rest, and the funnel will do the rest of the work. 
That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.